We intend to provide the requirements for an augmented reality project like Unity Engine and AR SDK. We'll learn how to download and install a Unity Engine and all required plugins and then install the AR SDK in our project. All right, let's get started with uh, learning the first step of augmented reality. But uh, for implementation, the augmented reality, we need to have a application and software. It's called Unity Editor. If you want to download it, you can come to this address, unity.com and the uh, download section. And you can download the Windows, the Unity Hub uh, for Windows or for other platforms. After you download the Unity Hub and in install on your computer, uh, you can come to the Unity Hub and come to the install and in here you will click on install editor and you will see the newest version of the unity editor and you can select uh, each one you want whatever uh, the what is the number is here in this clip but maybe in yours it will be different but uh, the important thing is, as you can see, it's better to select some uh, something it's called Long Term Support, LTS. So, recommended version, it's for me right now, it is 2021.3.5, but I already have 2021.3.4 uh, LTS. So, it's not a big deal. After you download your uh, Unity Editor on your Unity Hub, you can come here, Projects, and click on New Project. And in here, you will select the location of your project in your computer and the name of project. I already made uh, a project, it's called Advanced AR. And you know, in here, you can select any plugins default plugins on your project so it's better to be uh, for example 3d core if you want you can select uh, I don't recommend it because it will install some useless uh, AR plugins which is which are not useful for robotics projects so I propose to select on the de uh, default uh, option. It's called 3D Core. Then select your uh, write your project name and click on Create Project. After that, you an empty project like this. Just it has assets and scenes folders. Okay. Uh, if you want to start with uh, AR Foundation, you need to come to the File and Build Settings. And in here, you should uh, uh, switch the platform initially to Android. But make sure uh, if you want to install your Unity Editor, you need to install the Android SDK as well. Uh, for example, let me show you how to install a editor, an editor. For example, I want to install 2021.3.5. Okay, in here, you will you can select any option you want. For example, because I already have my um, Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019. It's installed for me, but if you are uh, in the first time of your Unity editor, so you need to check on this option for sure if you want to programming in your project. After that, uh, it's better to install the Android build support and all of the uh, other uh, plugins, Android SDK, NDK, and OpenJDK. If you want to uh, export an APK for the mobile phones of Android platform, or if you want to build an app for iOS and Apple phones, you need to download this plugin. 
uh, in fact it is not plugin uh, the, these are not plugin these are uh, components of uh, your editor so uh, you need to have them if you want to select uh, iOS platform for example or Android platform and for example Linux build supports IL2CPP it's very useful and uh, Windows build support IL2CPP it is very useful as well but if you want to export uh, an ex uh, soft your software or your simulator for the Mac you need to download this component as well or if you want to support the WebGL of your project or for example export HTML5 of your project you need to have this uh, component anyway after you select them you need to click on continue and uh, accept the laws yeah in here the license terms and click on install that's it okay we can imagine we already have the unity editor in here first as far as I mentioned in the beginning, we need to click on Android and switch platform. In here, you will see the switch platform. For example, in the Windows Mac, you will see switch platform. As by default, in the first moment, uh, the platform of your project is Windows. So you need to click on Android and click on switch platform. You will switch to this um, mode. It's for Android platform okay let's go to the next step and we will come to the window and package manager and select on unity registry we will see some packages on uh, uh, inside of the our unity editor for example in here AR engineering mobile we are or so uh, some of other uh, helpful plugins for other types of projects so uh, for example we need to have AR foundation right okay I want to click on the AR foundation and as as you can see the last version for mine is 4.2.3 and click on install that's it it's ready the next plugin is very useful for us is for example if you want to export an apk for an app for ios you need you should have uh, ar kit ar kit xr plugin if you want to do it for um mobile app okay uh we need to go in here we can see the other plugins in here and list of plugins which are related to uh ar for example ar core xr plugin ar foundation ar kit so if you want to export uh, an app for ios you should have ar kit and if you want to do something for Android platform, you should have AR Core. So I need to install this one as well. Okay, I need to click on yes. All right, it's here. AR Core has been installed and AR Foundation as well. Okay, let's go to the next step. We should come here and click on Player Settings. And as you can see, we have a plugin, it's called XR Plugin Management. We should click on this one, and as you can see, we have plugin providers. Uh, we should click check on the AR core and make sure it's available. Okay, oh, sorry, 
and in here the AR core is active, AR kit is active, and yeah, they're fine. Okay, and once again, come back to the build settings and player settings. In here, we should uh, do some action and some changes in our uh, project settings and player settings. For example, first we need to have a name of the company name, Mechanism, for example, and in here we should have advanced AR without a space. And in here, for example, if you want to uh, rotate your phone automatically, you should have rotate auto rotation. Or if you want to keep stable on landscape left or right or portrait upside or down or something else, you should click on this one. I propose to uh, keep the you know orientation on landscape left so it will be better so in here in the splash image we can select any splash screen you want add anything any logos um, and uh, any even animations to when your app is going to be launched and the, for the important port and part is here. You should know that uh, it's uh, for augmented reality. It's better to check off the auto graphics API and remove the Vulkan graphic APIs because AR Foundation cannot support the Vulkan. Okay, and uh, check off the multi-threaded rendering. And also, you need to do something in here. The minimum API level has to be more than 7. It is the mechanism of AR Foundation. Because less than API, API level 24, it doesn't work. So it's better to target API level, it's automatic. And also in a scripting backend, it can be mono, it can be IL2CPP, it can be a network 2.1 or network framework. I propose to keep the IL2CPP and change to the network, net framework, sorry. Right, in here. Okay, we can select on this guy and ARM64 as a target architectures of the CPUs. So, other parts, everything is fine. Okay, as you can see in the game object, we have a new type, it's called XR, and we have AR Session Origin, AR Session, AR Default Point Cloud, Default Plane, and AR Default Face. That's it. We have a ready package of AR Foundation in our project. Okay, let's go to the next step.